Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the Waves Verse. I'm your boy OG Tim Wilson, and of course, I am here with the Nasty Boys, Big Ed and Waves. What up, though, fellas? It's good. Okay, all right. What up? What up? There you go. He's got a cigarette out of his mouth. He walks around <laughs> looking like your seventy Sam. <laughs> Yo, we uh, this is the show where we do a lot of lists, man. So uh, those that don't know, we do a lot of lists. Uh, we count down our top ten of whatever ways comes up with as our topic. And ways, with that said, what's our topic today? Ooh, we it's a it's a doozy of a topic because now we we hit it into the golden era, it's the golden era of hip hop, nineteen nineties, the nineties. Top ten, top ten songs. Top hip-hop 10 songs. hip-hop songs of the 90s. All right, so that's what we're doing tonight. And this should be good. This should be a doozy. If you don't like our list or if we missed something and you think we missed something, feel free to drop it in the comments. We love we love that. We love to read the comments and see what, what you dropped in there. Uh, I don't think we're missing anything this week. No, I think everything is going to get covered this week in somebody's list. Yeah. Oh, no, there's going to be some that gets missed. I uh, yeah, you, you're right, Wade. I think I think I think there's still uh, if, even if our list is super long, I we talk, talked about it earlier. Everybody's got a super long list, uh, but I still think there's stuff that's going to be missed yeah. because I can probably think of, of something else that's missed. Uh, but that said, I, I will say this before we move on. Go ahead. This this week's list potentially could have had if I. Did not keep it the way our formatting is with top 10. Could easily have gone into the books like how when we started doing the greatest movie of all time tournament. Had over 350 plus movies and still missed quite a few movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have did that with this. You're right. The the tournament. I I agree. We probably could have did that. That would have been that would have been interesting, actually. Yeah, that would have been fun, too. That would have been interesting. Uh, that said, man, let's do this. Let's do a toast here. Sure. This is going out to all the 90s babies. And when I say 90s babies, I don't mean those born in the 90s. I mean those that are children of the 90s music, where you are a P1 listener in the 90s, like Big Ed. So, yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. That's a good point. Damn, does that make me a 2000s? Gen X. I'm here like shit. I, don't get me wrong. I was born in the '80s. Listened to a lot of music in the '90s, but I didn't become a big, big, major fan of the music until I got into my teens, which then hit into the 2000s. Yeah. So you were a P1 listener of the 2000s. Yep. But the 2000s were good though. And I still have a bigger list and better list for my '90s than I do for my 2000s. Yeah, uh, 2000s were good though. I, and I, I spent more time with this list, so uh, my list on this is better. But I mean. The 2000s will miss a lot of stuff because I didn't spend as much time with the list. I mean, let's all face it. Me, you, Big Ed, and even Dijon missed Blow the Whistle by Too Short. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Man. How do we do that? Yeah. So, w- Big Ed is dark today. He's got this dark vibe going on over there. I see you. I see you, Mr. <laughs> dark Man. Dark Man. Oh, I'm sure seeing you like, Big Ed, you're he's running. Running. He's running. He's in his 90s. Well, like he's a- Dark Man. He's Dark Man X. <laughs> TV, you say his screen's all pixelated. Yeah, he's Dark Man X. He's been. He's there we go. We'll throw some light on the situation. Uh, Enter the phone on while he's screen. recording. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine trying to record a podcast back then? <laughs> right, right, exactly. Actually, me and Latone did. We did one. We did one called uh, "What Part of the Game." And I didn't understand what we were doing because he didn't really explain it to me well. And we were doing a podcast called What Part of the Game? And I had no idea what we were doing. Well, we did like, we only did a few episodes before we shut it down. Yeah. Um, that's when he was here in the D. That's oh, okay. it. Woo-woo. Let's get on with this list, man. Y'all ready? Yep, yep. yep. I'm going to kick the list off. Yes. At number 10. I just want to say before I go, the top 10 with with the number of songs I, I pulled out, my top 10 is fire. Okay. At number 10, Flavor in Your Ear by Craig Mack. 
Oh, yeah. All right. That's off of my uh, honorable mentions now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my the song that made the song that put Biggie on the map. Mm-hmm. Big good. Number 10. Uh, my number 10. Check the Rhyme by Tribe Called Quest. Yeah. That's off Ooh. of my honorable mention. Nice. Um, my number 10. Uh, got five on Luna's and Ooh. Michael Marshall. You mean the Loonies? Loonies, yeah. Loonies. Yeah. I, can Loonies. Look, I just know the song. You right? really are a 2000 baby. Yeah, I, 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 I love the song. I know the song. I don't know who the hell did the song. <laughs> it was Loonies. You just said it. Loonies. <laughs> Uh, number nine, I got nothing but a G thing by Dr. Dre. Oh, yes. Uh, number four, I mean, number nine. <laughs> I said number four you for some reason. Up the whole list. <laughs> <laughs> number four. Number nine, New York State of Mind by Nas. Mm, that's a good one. Knew that was coming. I didn't even put it on my honorables because I knew somebody else would have it. My number nine, Elevators, Outcast. Mm, nice, nice. My number eight, Cash Rules Everything Around Me, Cream Get the Money, Dollar Dollar Bill, y'all. Wu-Tang Clan. I like that number eight for obvious reasons. My number eight, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Crossroads. Bumps right off of my honorable mentions. My number eight, mind playing tricks on me, Ghetto Boys. Okay. Uh, at number seven, Doop That Thing by Lauren Hill. Ooh. That thing, that thing, that thing. I like it. I like it. My number seven, another Nas. If I rule the world. Yes, that's off my um, honorable mentions. That's off my honorable mentions. Where is it? My honorable mentions so long. I'm going to have to just cross it off when I get there because I can't <laughs> find it. It's too much. <laughs> uh, my number seven. Actually, my number seven originally, before I made my adjustment, was the same as OGs would do up. But I switched it out because I realized I had an omission on my list that needed to be adjusted. And that is Juicy. By Notorious B.I.G. Yeah, uh, yeah, nice one. Good one, good one, good one. Um, at number five. No, we're number six. six. Number six. Number six. The aforementioned Crossroads by Bone Thugs and Harmony. I love it. Big Ed, number six. Me, Myself, and I by De La Soul. Yeah. Hey. What the fuck do you sound like? <laughs> what the hell? His microphone just went under a goddamn alien attack. What the hell was that? Oh, I don't know what the hell happened. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think you're Mike. Me, myself, and I. By De La Soul. We heard what you said, oh. but you sound like you're talking through a transmogrifier. I was going to say, I think your mic might be busted. Yeah, your mic, you, something just happened with your mic. Oh, yeah, good. that does sound like that. Okay, that let me grab this other one. Oh, yeah, that sounds bad. Yo, you know what he reminds me of when he speaks in that bad boy? He reminds me of that damn old cigarette commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Your old boy from uh, CB4. Yeah, got the big dick. Okay. <laughs> there, how's that? There it you go. Way better. Much better. Okay. Much better. All right, my number six is New York State of Mind. Nice. There you go. All right, all right. At number five, we go to Dijon. Put your hands where my eyes can see. Bust the brides. How did that not even make my? Oh my! I don't got a six. <laughs> Bust the song on my honorable mention. That one's in my honorable mention. Uh, number five, right. Shimmy Shimmy Ya by the ODB. Yeah, that's in my honorables. Thank you. Took it off my honorable mentions as well. Ah, uh, my number five. Dear Mama, Tupac. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Well, I may as well dive right in. My number four, Dear Mama by Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> my number four, Mine's Playing Tricks on Me by the Ghetto Boys. Oh, okay. All right. That's funny. All right. So we got, we got number four. My number four ties in with the rest of my top three based on these are the songs that represented my teen years. Gin and Juice. Snoop Dogg. It's in my honorable mentions. Yeah. Almost made my list. Very close to making my list. I'll tell you this. When I first narrowed my list down, my list is, by the way, two pages long. When I first narrowed the list down, I still had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I had I narrowed my list down to twenty one. <laughs> Damn. And then from there, I had to get it down to ten. Damn. I had twenty one songs that I felt like belonged in my top ten. Uh, you got a question for us, ways? I do. I have a two part question for you guys this week. Very oh, simple man. question. Two part. Very easy question to ask. Or okay. very easy question to answer this week. All right. The first part of this question is: What was your favorite part of the nineties of nineties hip hop? Um, I don't know. It's, it's, that's that's actually not that easy for me. I, I don't. I, my favorite part of '90s hip hop. I don't understand what you mean by the question. Like, what is it about '90s hip hop that makes it the golden era to you? I think it was when, uh, you know, we really got a grasp on the other 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 parts of the country's jump diving in and it, and it made hip hop a lot more well-rounded. Yeah. The storytelling. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's storytelling. The, the distinct difference between different forms of hip hop based on your region was one of my favorite parts to, because there is a clear difference between of Rappers from New York and rappers from fucking Cali. And the South. And the South. And, West. and, and the South is really just the <clears throat> East and the West, their sound coming together, but brought into a new way that is its own form. I felt it, like the South was a the little West. different. I felt like the South had a little more country grit to it. It was it was country. It was a country grit to it. Yeah. The West Coast was a whole lot of Detroit. Mm -hmm. I felt like the West Coast was a lot of Detroit vibe because it had a lot of the P funk shit, um, and, and the West Coast is is, is a, you know. So I felt like that was a lot of Detroit vibe in the West. The South was really, really country bluesy to me, um, and, and funky, and uh, and then the Midwest brought the the thing rap to the game. Mm-hmm. The R&B rap to the game, yeah. Uh, like Bone Thugs and Harmony and uh, Nelly and you know that type of, type of shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, uh, I absolutely agree with that. I'm I'm a little I'm a little perturbed right now, man. I want to move on to the honorable mentions because two of my top three has already been named. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not. I'm a little perturbed that two of my top three have already been named already. <laughs> All right. Well. Let me hit you guys with the second part of this uh, question. I got a long question when we got 50,000 songs. Come on, man. All right. Is, what did usually, you not... usually got one little quick question and we got a short little list and we done. We got, we got a million songs and he got a long two part question. Come on, man. What is this it? Will be a quick, uh, this will be a quick answer. What did you not like of hip hop in the 90s? I don't like Big Ed. What else? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well you gotta deal with me i'm here now <laughs> uh i loved hip-hop in the 90s so i can uh, there wasn't nothing i didn't like about it at the time i loved it but now looking back at it 
I appreciate and I love the representation of gangster hip hop, gangster rap. But I do not like the way it almost glamorized the lifestyle to make it seem almost cool. It kind of almost perpetrate perpetrated too big of a word for me to be saying. So moving on, number three. No, I get what you're saying though. It did, it did, it did kind of um influence the streets a lot in, in a in a very negative manner. Yeah. I was, I'll put it like that for you. It did there was a huge negative influence on the streets and you know crack became part of it now and now you look at hip hop now, that's all they talk about is killing and, and selling dope. So yeah. uh that, that the nineties that that's a product of nineties hip hop. That said, thought it was interesting today. I heard a song by uh, a song uh, from Quavo and Takeoff. Remember they did an album together, mm -hmm. and and it was interesting listening to it. Where they were talking about how you gonna end up dead and how this and that and that. And I'm like, yeah, well, wow, that didn't age well. Exactly. <laughs> At number three, my mind's playing tricks on me by Ghetto Boys. All three of us got it on our list. My number three, Mama Said Knock You Out by LL Cool J. Ooh. Very close. Very, very close. That made that made it all but the final cut. That was my number 11, actually. Damn. Oh, at 12. It was in my top 12. I, I had narrowed it down to like 12. Had to get two more. And I'm surprised my number one of those two have not yet been named, but at least that one was well my number three it was a good day ice cube that's the other one that was my number 12 <laughs> <laughs> that was 11 and 12 right there that was 11 and 12 it was a good day by ice cube and uh, mama said knock you out by, by cool J. that was my that was my 11 and 12 uh my number two if y'all don't have this in y'all top two Y'all gonna be as I'm I'm ashamed that y'all didn't have this in y'all top ten. Cause I'm surprised it's still not named. Unless y'all got it in y'all top two. Humpty Dance by Digital Underground. Okay, so it made it it's my honorable mentions. Okay, all right. That's where it was on mine too. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I'm surprised that's not in your top ten. That's a huge, that's a huge, huge, huge song still today. My number two. Pete Rock and CL Smooth, they reminisce over you. Yep, it's in my honorable mentions. Oh, I think I had it in mine. Oh, I did Definitely. it. How wow. did I miss it? Okay. Um, my number two, Regulate, Warren G and Nate Dog. Definitely in my honorable mentions. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my number one, the aforementioned, I got five on it by Lunas. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my number one, the far side, passing you by. In my honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. And my number <laughs> this is funny. My number one is cream. Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel you on that one. That's not bad. Uh it's an aforementioned one. Yeah, that is. Oh, yeah, it wasn't yeah. your number ten, was it? Huh? That was, that not... was my that was my number eight. Okay, I thought it was your number ten. I was like, now nah, that's funny. My number ten is your number one, and my... <laughs> vice versa. Yeah, my number it was that was my number eight. Okay, okay. Uh, now we're on to some honorable mentions. Yes. I already mentioned that one. I got a good one for you, Big Ed. This is a good one. I know, I know. Waves didn't guy got, got this one. Y'all, neither one of y'all got this one. Okay. Lucini by Camp Low. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all nope. missed on that one. Y'all slept on Lucini. All right. Here's one for you. AMG, bitch better have my money. Oh, I slept on the AMG there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I slept on AMG. That's a big one. Um. Big one. I got another one for you guys as well, obviously. UNITY, Queen Latifah. Oh, yeah, I got that one too. I got that one too. Uh, what about this one? 
My Name Is by Eminem. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about Method Man and Mary J. Blige? You're all I need to get by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that one. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's a good That's one. Honorable mentions as well. Yeah. Uh, ooh, this one hasn't been mentioned yet. Fight the Power, Public Enemy. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I got that one in here too. That's my honorable mention. That one made the first cut. Uh, I got another one that y'all probably ain't got. All right. Slow Down by Brand Dubian. Nope. You oh, made I one of my favorite lines of the 90s. You will fly once, now you're missing all your fronts. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a chick, crackhead chick, chick smoking crack. You will fly once, now you're losing all your fronts. OG, here's going to be one that pissed you off that we missed. Okay. Mob Deep, Shook Ones Part 2. It's in my honorables. It's oh, in that's there. in my honorables as well. It's in there. I got it. I got it. That was that was a, that made that was close. That one made that one made my second cut. I did like three cuts to get it down to ten. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that made that made the second cut. Bro, I'm really shocked this one did not make your top ten. I seen a man die. Scarface. Mm. I got that one. Yeah. I got that one here. I got that one too. Let me go and cross that one off. I think the others that is on the other side of the page. I'm gonna keep going. Um, Rosa Parks by Outcast. Yes. Yep. That's we did that's say us. Outcast when it comes to us. Ninety three till infinity. Souls of mischief. Hmm. I got a tribe song for y'all. Okay. Pretty sure you guys never expected me to have a tribe song for any list or honorable mentions, but I have. Can I kick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, I got that one. I got that one. I had three tribe songs on my honorable mentions. Yep. I got. I got. I got one more. I got one more on my honorable mentions. I had three as well. Um, uh, what about uh summertime by the fresh Jesse Jeff and the Fresh Ooh. Prince? Yes. Yep. Yes. Mass Appeal by Gangstar. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm gonna see if you guys got any. Uh, any women? I have. The rain, super duper fly. This of year. course. Of course, I got that. Of course, I got that. That's something that made my first point or two. <laughs> How about "Love's Gonna Get You" by Boogie Down Production? Ooh, yes. How about Eric B and Rakim? No ledge. Yeah. I wasn't a big fan of this. I got one. Jump around. House of Pain. <laughs> yeah, that's some Wisconsin shit. I don't like that. <laughs> I really don't like that, so that did not make my list. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Wisconsin. <laughs> How about Protect Your Neck by Wu Tang? Ooh. Yep. Yes. That's one of my two off of my honorable mentions for uh, Wu Tang. KRS One, Sound of the Police. Ooh. Yes. Look. Whoop, whoop. It's so fun. This is what I love about living in a very predominantly white area in Minnesota. When I was serving these kids, I'd always hit them with the whoop, whoop every day and no one knew what the hell I was referencing and I loved it. <laughs> uh, I But I do have a Wu-Tang song here for you. Triumph. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I knew you was going to say it. I knew you was going to say that. Yeah, that, that was on my list too. Um, Here's one for Big Ed. I could just kill a man. <laughs> here is something you can't understand. understand. Cypress Hill, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, hits from the bomb. Uh, how about Outcast with Players Ball? Yeah. Yes. I'm throwing all these Outcast songs around. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I got um uh, one I just introduced the kids to. My uh two younger ones. Cause they love the movie Andy. I had to throw a little spin on it for him, so I hit him with the Hard Knock Life by Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
That's on my list, too. What about Ready or Not by Fuji's? Hmm. Yep. That song's a whole vibe on its own. Now, I can't believe we done did a whole show on 90s hip hop. And this is the first time that Naughty by Nature got mentioned with OPP. Yeah. All right. Your no. list is like your list is like chalk to uh to to Google. Um, <laughs> I, got is, one for you, I, Googled, I Googled just to see if I could uh, if he was gonna be to he chalked to the Google list. Uh, I got a song here that to me I've always enjoyed it. For some reason I've always assumed people just never liked it as much as I did. Mathematics by by most depth. Don't. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that joint is fire. That's on my honorable mentions too. By most deaf, that shit is fire. <laughs> uh, all right, what about Crush on You by Lil Kim? Oh, I did. I completely miss Lil Kim. This, I completely miss her and Fox. Mm. Ooh, okay. Big Ed, you got any more? I got a ton more. <laughs> got a few more. A few. <laughs> no, that's all I came up with right now. All right. I got one for you. I had a lot of stuff to do today, so. That's all good, bro. I feel you. I got make him say, it. uh. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. I got that. Yeah, yeah. How about this one? Get Money by Junior Mafia. Ooh. Oh, yeah. How about Woo Hot by Buster Rhymes? Ooh. <laughs> what Early about, night. What about Mass Mass Appeal by Gangstar? Yep, yep. Didn't you mention that one, Big Ed? Yes, I did. You did? Yep. California Love by Doc, uh, by Tupac. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I got a killer coming. What you got, boy? Hold on, hold on. Scenario leaders of the new school. Yeah, nigga, that's 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 an every yo. Uh, <laughs> oh man, uh, I got intergalactic Beastie Boys. Nah, nah, that was trash. Yeah, that was Google. That was a Google pick. <laughs> Oh, that was not Nobody, a good people pick. did not like that song, man. Nobody no. liked that I song. Guess, I guess I gotta switch the role of most deaf in mass of uh mathematics for that one then because that's a song I really enjoy. <laughs> that song is trash. Well, how about this one? This is a this is what I'm talking about. When I say when we're talking about top songs, rebirth of a slick, cool like that by the diggable planets. <laughs> yes. Now that's Jimmy yes. still banging. <laughs> Ooh, I just remembered one. They want effects by Dots Effects. Ooh. Oh. Yes. Damn, I'm ashamed I ain't got that on my list. Um. Yeah. Brenda's ooh, ooh. got a baby. Yeah, yeah. Brenda's got yeah. a baby. Yeah, that's a good one. What about Rough Riders Anthem by DMX? Oh, yeah. oh yes. What about Dead Press with hip hop? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. That's on my that's actually on my list. Uh wait, bruh. Didn't Dance with the Devil come out in ninety? I don't know. Pretty sure it did, but never mind. I didn't I didn't hear about Immortal Technique until like in mid 2000s you mentioned one of their songs but you mentioned the one that was the google song you didn't mention the other one that was the hot one hip hop parade by naughty by nature <laughs> hey oh hey oh yeah <laughs> uh. Is it just me? God, I keep rolling. I got my list is still if rolling. If you remind me of anything, I'll pr- bring it up. I got Can't Knock the Hustle by Jay Z featuring Mary J. Blige. <laughs> my list, my list is extensive over here. Okay, I'm getting to some ones that I that I, y'all mentioned. 
Uh, what about can't play with my yo yo? My yo. <laughs> yes. Yo. <laughs> yes. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Afro puffs by the Lady of Rage. Y'all ain't ready for me. Roughnecks by the MC Light. Y'all ain't ready for me. I was just that's what I was just gonna to say too. Was MC Light with Roughnecks. Oh uh, shit. Okay, you said playing ball. You said the rain by Missy. Shimmy shimmy y'all been called out. Functified by the brat. Y'all ain't Ooh. ready for me, baby. Lost ones by Lauren Hill. Wait a minute, hypnotized by the notorious B.I.G. Y'all ain't ready for me. All eyes on me by Tupac. Come on now. Ooh, hey, wait, 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 I got one. <laughs> hey, you said B.I.G. by the 10 Crack Commandments. 10 Crack Commandments. Okay, yep. okay, okay, all right, all right. Uh, let's let's go to, to the Midwest. Oh. We'll die with Pope Him. Okay, yeah, nice. I like it. Good choice. Good one, good one, good one. Y'all got that one, y'all got that one. You got that one. That's Crucial good. conflict with hey. Got that one there. Uh, smoking on. Hey, hey. What about the world is yours by Nas? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say. <laughs> you, got the, you got Troy. Uh, what about One Love, Nas and Q-Tip? I wasn't a big. I don't know that. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I was okay. Thugger, Thugger, you said check the ground, did you, Big Ed? Earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tried yeah, that was my number 10. And he hit Hard Night Life and he hit Gin and Juice. So I only got one left. 911 is a joke by Public Enemy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I got two that are both from the Bone or uh, from Bone Thugs and Harm. Uh you got Thuggers Ruggers Bone. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You got for the love of money. You got that one? Yeah. You first the of the month. month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got the first of the month. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was the Project Anthem. <laughs> yes. All of them. Uh, Bone Thugs. Bone Thugs was hot for a minute there. And then Crossroads was just like, got so big. They just, that was, that was just the apex. Yeah. Kind of fell off after that. And I know we even after all of that, I know we missed some, man. I know we missed a lot. So if you can think of something that we missed, put it in the comments, man. We want to hear it. But you know, you know, you got to show love to the list today because we we knocked off a whole gang of shit. Yes, man. Yeah, we 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 went in for y'all today because I I was surprised that y'all had a lot of stuff that I didn't have. Even though you did knock a lot of stuff off of my list, there was still a lot that y'all hit that I didn't even have on there. So. That tells me there's still a love. There's still more shit out there. Yep. And watch after the show, we gonna sit there and be messaging each other. Damn, we forgot this. One. We forgot this. Yeah. We forgot that. Yeah. After the show, bro, up until next show, and even at next show, we might bring something up. <laughs> yeah, just like I brought up two two pack too short today. Uh, so anyway, uh, the too short the ghetto. Where that one at? Was that the ninety? Ooh, Ooh. Almost missed it again. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Is that again? All right, man. I'm out. We go. We go. Roll on until next week. It's been a fun show, man. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Wade, what yeah. we got on tap for next week, man? Hey, it's our final week before we decide. We finally move in to the transition into the showdown. Next week, we are touching on the, uh, the best songs from hip-hop of the 1980s. Y'all know what? Now we in my world. We in my world now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You in my world now. It's going to be fun. All right, man. Well, that's it for the show, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as we did, because I know I enjoyed the hell out of that right there. And I can't wait to look back at it and enjoy it with you. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like what you see, then like what you see. I'm your boy, OG Tim Wilson. On behalf of the Nasty Boys, Big Ed and Waze, this was the Waze verse, and we out of here like last year. Peace.